today be the day, mate. The day we make our crystals. Our pirate crystals. Believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally like years, man. Vashti. So we're gonna use the sodium oxalate that we made in a couple of videos ago. If you haven't seen that video, you should you should go check it out. And we're gonna make a solution of iron three chloride that we can combine with the sodium oxalate. And uh, oh yeah, we're gonna grow some amazing green crystals. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's the green solution we were looking for. That means we've made some sodium ferry oxalate. And now it's just a, a matter of crystallizing it. So we're gonna we're gonna cool it down very slowly and uh, you know let the crystals develop. No, oh, that's so cool. It's it's like fluorescent. I mean, I don't know how well you can tell like on the video, but oh man. This is a beautiful green solution. Now we just have to wait for the crystals to form. Uh, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. The, the best way, I mean, the, the, the way we're gonna get the best results is to let it slowly crystallize. Uh, so if we let it cool off slowly and evaporate over time, it will create some very nice large sized crystals. But 
I'm being a little impatient tonight, so we're gonna we're gonna take just a small portion of it and see if we can get a few crystals uh, rather quickly. Before we go too far, we're gonna heat it up a little bit and uh, actually concentrate the solution by evaporating some of the water off. So it looks like our small beaker is, uh, you know, getting close to that point. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out, cool it down, and see if we can get some crystals. I'm just gonna, you know, put it into a beaker of cool water and see if we can get a little crystal growth. It worked. We have sodium uh, ferrioxalate crystals. I mean, look at that. There's uh, just a, just a few in there. But imagine what we're gonna have when. Oh yes. So now we're just gonna reduce the volume of the the big solution and uh, yeah, same idea. Only we're gonna let it cool down very slowly. Instead of rapid cooling it, we're gonna we're gonna cool it down slowly so we get larger crystals. So we'll have to check in on this uh, tomorrow. Not tomorrow, probably like three days, ten days from now. I, I don't know, it's gonna be a little bit, so we'll probably save that for the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this awesome reaction between sodium oxalate and iron 3 chloride. It's a, a beautiful green solution. Now, uh, it's been a pretty interesting journey to get to this point. Uh, there's been a couple of other videos previously where we made sodium oxalate, and then last week when we uh, well, we we tried to make iron three chloride, but uh, bad bad luck. It just I don't know. It came out uh, it came out kind of funky. But I found a workaround, and we've made it happen. So now we've got the sodium ferrioxalate. It's just a matter of crystallization. So that's why you need to come back next week. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure you like this video. And if you have any uh, you know comments, or you want to throw in your two cents or whatever, there's a. Uh, there's a section down there for that. Oh, also, I almost forgot. The website is uh, is redone. It's, uh, it's a thing again. You can even go buy some merch. There's coffee mugs and sweatshirts and t-shirts and, uh, you know, all kinds of cool stuff over there with the, the cool Science Pirate logo. Uh, that thing. Yeah, you can, uh, you can go check that out. I'll put a link down there in the description. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.